What's up, crew? It's Chris with Clover Tacking. Welcome back to the channel. Got a bench battle for you today. Going to be putting the Rock Island Armory AL-22 revolver up against the Model 617 from Smith & Wesson. Before we go to the bench, if you're new here on Clover Tech, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button. And if you want to keep up to date with all the new content on the channel, we'll go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Here we are on the bench and safety first. Just a quick cylinder check on these before we get started. Knock that out of the way. We can get to talking about the uh, differences and the similarities between these two revolvers. Now, right away, the elephant in the room, we're dealing with a Smith & Wesson revolver versus a Rock Island Armory revolver. Obviously, the price point, uh, the value, the MSRP, whatever, much, much higher on those Smith & Wesson revolvers, but that could make the Rock Island Armory here a little more appealing. Now, with my particular Smith & Wesson 617 here, this is an older model. Um, and Smith & Wesson does also make the 617 in a 4-inch version, uh, the same as this Rock Island Armory AL-22. What's interesting about the picture there of the 4-inch version, the grip in it, very similar to the grip on the Rock Island Armory. The grip I have here on the 617 is a Smith & Wesson logo grip. It's an original, it's a factory grip. Uh, I'm not real sure why it's different than the grip in the picture, uh, except for the fact that maybe uh, I know for a fact my Smith & Wesson 617 here is a much older model. Uh, not decrepitly old, they've only been around a couple decades, but it is an older model. So I think that's uh, probably they changed the grip design at some point along the way. I don't know for sure, so jump down in the comments below if you know the uh, particulars of that and let me know. Now another difference that we need to talk about here and contrary to a mistake I made in one of the Rock Island Armory AL-22 videos, uh, I said this was a 10-shot revolver. Uh, it's not a 10-shot cylinder. This is a 9-shot cylinder, 22 long rifle, whereas the Smith & Wesson 617 is a 10-shot cylinder, 22 long rifle. The last of the differences here that we're going to talk about, then we'll get to some similarities, uh, going to be triggers. Uh, these are double action, single action. And as far as double action in the Rock Island Armory, look at somewhere around an 11 pound trigger pull on that double action. And then when we move into single action with the Rock Island Armory, uh, gonna come somewhere in that five pound uh, trigger pull range. The Smith & Wesson, on the other hand, uh, quite a bit of difference. Uh, coming in around eight pounds or so, eight to nine pounds on the double action, and then only about three pounds on the single action trigger pull with the Smith and Wesson. And that's pretty much all for the differences between these two revolvers. We can talk a little bit about similarities. Obviously, when we look at uh, the grip design, when we look at the frame size, we're talking about the Smith and Wesson K frame here. Uh, and if we look at that, I mean, very robust frame, also very similar size profile, all the good stuff with the Rock Island Armory AL-22. Now, uh, a lot can be told by weight, of course, and with the Rock Island Armory coming in around 38 ounces, uh, the Smith & Wesson 617, this version anyway, the 6-inch barrel coming in around 44 ounces. So with the additional barrel length, obviously got just a little more weight, but very robust frames on both of these revolvers. As far as aesthetic design, we've got full shrouded barrel uh, on both of these, and then we've also got fluted cylinders on both of these. Now the last similarity we're gonna talk about here is gonna be the sights. Uh, both of them fixed, pinned, front sight blade, but when we move and we take a look at the rear adjustable sight, which is available on both of these, of course, a uh, very similar design on that rear sight. So there you go, crew. Hopefully this video has given you a little more insight on the similarities and the differences between that Rock Island AL-22 revolver and the Smith & Wesson Model 617. As always, if you want to continue the conversation, you can do that down in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.